Okay, in this video, we're going to go over how to uh, dissect the salivary gland out of a third instar Drosophila larvae. And this is one method. There is another method. In this method, we're going to grab the animal at the uh, head cuticle, holding on to the mouth hooks, and then pull lightly on the uh, on the body and you want that left forcep in my case my left forcep to be about halfway down the body length <clears throat> and in this dissection most things came out quite cleanly so we won't need to clean it up very much I'm gonna move up to high magnification here uh, I just want to point out that uh, we like to keep the head cuticle and the mouth hooks attached to the salivary glands. Uh, this helps with the immuno to weigh down the sample in our net wells. Otherwise, uh, they have a tendency to, to float up out of the net wells, which can be frustrating while you're trying to do the immunofluorescent staining. <clears throat> in this, I'm showing you here, I'm gonna trying to point to the, uh, the actual salivary gland. You can see it there. It's the, the translucent tissue, which my forceps are moving up and down. <clears throat> and then on either side of that, you can see um, the opaque white fat bodies. And we pull some of the fat bodies off um, before we do our immunos, but we don't we don't go too crazy. It is it's helpful to get some of it off because it does cause them to stick. And over here, I'm showing you part of the heart vessel. You can see on the right hand side here with its attachments. Okay, so let's go through another dissection here at a little bit higher magnification. So I usually grab the animal by the head first. If you grab them in the middle of the body first, then they just thrash their head, and it's really difficult to, to grab the head where you need to. And actually, grabbing that head in the right position is one of the most important things to getting the dissection to go well. And again, this dissection was quite lucky in that you, I very cleanly pulled out the salivary glands. There's a little bit of fat body. You're going to see how I remove it by just holding it down against the, uh, the glass and then pulling the tissue away. We generally don't take off that really thin piece of fat body that you can see on the left-hand side of that one gland right now. And here we're going to show you what, what happens more often in these dissections is you get a bunch of other tissues coming along for the ride. In this case, I saw the, <clears throat> you can see the heart vessel there kind of pointing straight up. And we're going to pick through and take some of this material out um, before these glands are ready to be fixed. So you can see the heart vessel there again, kind of pointing off to the right um, with its attachments. My forceps are pointing to it right now. So we're going to pull that out. Usually I hold the, uh, the head cuticle and the mouth hooks with my left. Okay. Here I'm actually, you can see those two lobes. Those are actually the two lobes of the ventral ganglion. I'm pulling those out. And again, pulling a little bit of, of fat body that is kind of flapping in, in the breeze out there, uh, but not the stuff that's really tightly associated. You're uh, trying to get that off. You're only going to damage the gland and, uh, end up with a poor immuno. So that's generally where we like to leave them uh, for fixation and then moving on into the immunos and then we'll pull that last part off later before we mount these samples.